What is up everyone, welcome to my new video related to Ethereum price analysis technical details as usually, we're gonna take you about the market from the most rational standpoint. This is Scrambo, I'm gonna be your host, and today we're gonna solve all those questions that are very important for our trading journey. Where is the market having probabilities in terms of domination about to follow? We've been having a retracement once again, but the last 48 hours were looking a little better than what has happened in the past weeks. Yet the retracements and the pullbacks are constant and pretty aggressive, which is the characteristic of any rally during a bear market. So you need to keep those things in mind and address towards. We have a market cap which is sitting under $900 billion, a 24 hours volume which is decent, but something that I wanted to touch bases on will be the Ethereum dominance on the market cap. You know, there is BTC dominance, there is Ethereum dominance, and there is the other altcoins as well that have a specific chart for their dominance. What you see here right now is the uh, total market capitalization representing a specific part of the market cap of the whole space so we look at the btc and you see how much does it represent out of the total market capitalization and we see at the ethereum how much does it represent in terms of percentage wise out of the total market capitalization right so we're going to turn off btc for the moment and i'd like to share with you ethereum alone we have been going through a bull run in 2017 and 18, and this was the all-time high at that time for the Ethereum dominance. Meanwhile, the price of all-time high was somewhere over there, which kind of indicated every single time the dominance was sitting above 20%, which is this line, and I'm going to draw that line with a red color. Take a look at that, folks. During January, for the last time, we have been sitting above 20% dominance, which means that Ethereum had 20% of the whole market capitalization. Now, we've been having resistances back and forth at this level multiple times, right? And it was a clear sign that that's the point of the top. We've been facing resistance for about a year, basically from this point until the very recent level, it was just continuous resistance for the Ethereum dominance. That was the top of what Ethereum could have done in the markets. Going forward, what is important to consider is the levels that we used to consider the lows. Well, the lows are here in terms of what level do we accept as possibilities of investment? 8.72, 7.48, 7.43, So I would prefer anything that is under 10% dominance. That is amazing. Now, of course, things have changed in the markets and it is no longer the same environment like back in the day. Yet I would accept basically anything that we might see around 10%, which means even 12, 13. Uh, I would be happy with those things, folks, especially if the price is going to sit around a few hundreds of dollars per Ethereum price and we get our dominance sitting at 12, 13 or under those levels. I would be definitely happy with that. If we successfully break below 10, then it would be amazing. It would be just amazing that Ethereum dominance has been the bottom of the uh, final movements of the previous bear run that we had. So that is just great to be considering and keeping those things in mind, which means that whenever we have a crashing market, a correction and a traditional movement of the bear market, Ethereum will decrease more than what BTC does, which means that its percentage will decrease from the total market capitalization. Meanwhile, BTC's one will increase 
because it will consist more out of the market capitalization due to the fact that the price has not been lost that much. And I'm sure you got the idea. We're continuing, but we're going to get back to this specific topic uh, into my other videos as well. 30 minute candlesticks for our today's representation. I'd like to share with you the context and talk about the things. So this is where we are. I'm going to put things like this. Yeah, let me just put my things exactly like this uh, and grab this support thing and put it over here. All right, so we're ready to get into. We had a significant selling pressure triggered over the weekend, which was the final move of the current um, sell off. And we've been able to set a strong buying pressure representing 14.88% with a traditional retracement of shaking out the highly leveraged people. And that was the time basically things have changed because from that specific place, a lot of the entries could have been completed. 27.44% is on the table in two days and nine hours after the place we should have been expected of a significant reaction. You never want to buy in the bottom of the V-shape. You always want to buy in the retracement generated by the right wing of the V-shape. That retracement needs to end on a higher low, which will indicate that we'll break this top. And that's actually what you need because you want to make money with this move, right? With that move, instead of trying to make money with this move here that is located in the V-shape with the right wing of the V-shape. You don't want to make money with that. You want to make money with what is about to come right afterwards. That's how trading needs to function in this specific conditions. Beautiful. So we've been able to establish our uptrending channel support line that was holding quite well till 21st of June. We had a five waves of Elliott, a traditional representation, and that ended clearly at the resistance trending line, which is significant and powerful. And we're going to have to deal with that sooner or later again. Because what's happening here is quite interesting, folks. We have, you know, support coming in at $1,050 for Ethereum, which is great because that keeps us above four digits. Right now, it's the fight with the three digits and four digits market movements. If you're still questioning the fact that are we going to get movements in three digits for weeks and months? Well, for me, that is unquestionable which is a clear sign that from here we can dump another 50%, 60% in the price of Ethereum. So it's clear to me that three digits price Ethereum will be the one that we're going to need to deal with for many, many months. It do not need to happen this year. And please keep those things in mind. It do not need to happen this year. Although I strongly believe that for the last six months of the year that are still left, we're going to be under three digits. So we're going to be with three digits in terms, of, in terms of price of Ethereum, much more time than four digits. Keep those things in mind. Uh, they're very important. So 2023 is going to be an interesting year with a lot of the range and a perfect moment to make money from trading. Look at the movement we have here. We have a beautiful market reaction with an engulfing at the level of support. That's exactly what is necessarily to make some money. So that being said, we have lost our support here, but that's not an issue. That's not an issue. The only problem is going to be if we do not successfully break above the resistance trending line, which will be located here. That's going to be an issue. Because at that time, we're going to form a significant double top and we're going to get punished. We're really going to get punished. Although there is a lot of liquidity going on here, right? There is a lot of liquidity going on here. And I would be pretty careful about those levels located slightly under $1,000. And I'm also very careful with the fact that a whole lot of the people use right now the $1,000 
level as a psychological strong support reaction. They just blindly buy that, which can be very well played out by the exchanges to dump it right below that and then allow the space to increase back. So they pretty much take out the stop losses. That's where we are at the moment. This is the current situation of the whole space and you need to keep yourself close to the data. So for those of you that have been wondering about my private one-to-one -one coaching, feel free to check out scramblecoaching.com. A perfect moment to run for education. Nothing is more valuable in life than education at a time you would like to do something. If you're questioning your trading career, if you're questioning the fact that we're approaching a very difficult financial situation across uh, the world with all the recession discussion, with all the markets decreasing, with all the prices skyrocketing, it's clear that life has become much more expensive and a lot of the people need to find extra revenue. So trading allows you to run your job to run your business or to become a full-time trader. Meanwhile, do all these things decently. At the same time, extra money is something that is gonna help all the guys out there. So feel free to check out, this is done one-to-one -one directly with me on conversations that are live. I'm taking you personally and I'm teaching you how to build your trading business and successfully trade for long-term. So uh, feel free to register now and look forward um you look for my reply or your email or uh, in your inbox or spam box or on your telegram i'm going to drop you the message you can qualify for a free conversation with me of 15 minutes and then for those who are looking to join my movement of trading feel free to check out my scrumbocoaching.com slash today and by the way all the links that i've been talking about can be found in the description area of this video or a comments area of this video it's usually right below the video it's a pin message right so um we have on the left side of the page my trading journey documented with all the results and then on the right side how you can join there is no upfront fees there is just pure commission out of the pure profits we make very simple that's the way it functions. Have a beautiful time. Subscribe. Hit the like button, guys. It's going to help for others to find out more useful information for the journey. Have a beautiful time out there once again. Enjoy. And we'll talk to you soon.